I've never felt unsafe in the entire time that I've been living down here, and I don't think that any of the other women that I know do either. I was surprised that you referred to where you live, since it's Mexico as being among very peaceful people because that's not what we're hearing on television and in the news in the United States. This is true and it's unfortunate because we have about four women that are, that are foreigners who are living alone by themselves in this village including out on a ranch, out on this piece of land, one has a business. These women don't have any hesitation about staying here, driving themselves back and forth, they drive over to Cancun by themselves, they go over to pick up their husband or they don't have one, they go over to the beach. They drive all over the place here and you never think about this twice and you still don't. If you have a flat tire or a car problem, you can guarantee that somebody on the peninsula is going to stop and help you. Not harm you, not take advantage of you, they're going to help you. So. The world at large needs a geography lesson because they don't understand how large Mexico is and how long it is. And the problems are, are drug related, pure and simple. And that drug problem is not going to go away as long as you have a country as huge as the United States up there that's the consumer. And this is pretty much in the northern part of the country because they're trying to get across the border to get into the United States. It has nothing to do with down here. And that is not to say that the drug problem doesn't exist or never will, because that would be naive. However, you would simply have to be in the wrong time at the wrong place. And that's not typical down here at all. You know where you shouldn't be going at what time in the, in the night. It would be like Portland, Oregon. You know, there are certain areas there that wouldn't be the greatest thing if you were there at three in the morning. If you were a single woman, you would just be, that would be lack of intelligence on your part and the same is true in Mexico. So I wouldn't think that people should be afraid to travel on the Yucatan Peninsula and in most of Mexico uh, at all.